Hi guys, just give me a second. I'm once again having problems with the camera. Just give me a moment. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I'm just sorry. I'm just, I'm just um, fixing my my camera that I'm having troubles with, but I'm almost done. Okay, I think so. All right. All right, can everybody see me? Everybody? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. perfect, excellent. All right, guys, welcome. How are you? Fine, teacher. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Okay, so. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Ivan. Good to see you. Good to see you again. Sorry. Um, the, I can connect in the last classes because I have hard days and nights in my work, but here again. You had hard days at work? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But everything is better now? Yes. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, welcome. Thank you. Good evening, sorry. I'm late. <laughs> oh, no, no, no worries. No worries. Um, I'm also, I was having trouble with my camera, so don't worry about it. Okay, um, okay so let me take attendance. Uh, hold on. Okay, Ana Claudia? Present teacher. All right. Excellent. Um, Abit? Abit? No? No, Abit is not here? Okay. Um, Andres? Present teacher. All right. Welcome, Andres. Um, Dennis? Dennis Orlando? Dennis Orlando? Still not here? Okay. <clears throat> um, Edgar uh, Menjivar? Edgar Menjivar? No, not here. Okay. Okay. Uh, what about Edith? Edith, Edith Jorleni? Edith Jorleni? No, not here. Okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> Erwin? Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi, Erwin. All right, welcome. Thank you. Fabiola? Fabiola, no? Fabiola's not here? Okay. Uh, Heidi? Present teacher. All right, welcome, Heidi. Thank you. Um, Irene? Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening, Irene. Welcome. Thank you. Um, Ivan? Present teacher, sorry, right. it was mute. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, no worries. Um, Josue? Present teacher. All right, welcome Josue. Uh, Juan Francisco? Juan Francisco? Present teacher. Present teacher. All right, welcome Juan Francisco. <laughs> Okay, uh, Jerry? Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Jerry. Thank you. 
Is Luis here? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay. Luis here? Luis? No. Okay. All right. What about Manuel Alejandro? Manuel Alejandro? No. Okay. Uh, Natalia? Present teacher. All right. Welcome, Natalia. Thank you. Wendy? Present teacher. All right. Welcome, Wendy. And um, is Warner here? Warner? No? Warner's still not here? What about um, Yvonne? Present teacher. All right. Welcome, Yvonne. Thank you, teacher. And Edgar Enriquez? I'm here. Okay. Wonderful. And uh, what about Ellie? I'm here. All right. Welcome, Ellie. Jose Montes? Present. All right. Welcome. And Jose Ayala? Present, teacher. All right. Welcome. Okay, let me just uh, call out the names again of those people that I didn't hear um, when I called out their names. So we have um, Abit, Habit. No, Habit is not here, okay. Uh, what about Dennis Orlando? Dennis Orlando, no. Edgar Menjivar. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Fabiola? Uh, um, I also didn't hear Luis. Present teacher, good evening. Oh, good evening, Luis. Okay, welcome. Manuel Alejandro? Manuel Alejandro? No, okay. Uh, and um, Warner? Okay, all right, perfect. So uh, those are the people that I um, that um, I have. Okay, so I think I have everybody so far. Okay, guys, so uh, first of all, uh, welcome to everybody. How was your day? Did you have a good day? Yes. Yeah? Busy day. Yes, Busy day. So fine. So far, so good? Actually, that was my day off. Oh, nice. What, so, what did you do in your day off? Sleep. Oh. <laughs> Just sleep. That's good. Yeah, that, that, that's always a good choice. Yes. <laughs> okay, all right. Anything else other than sleep or just sleeping? Actually, uh, I worked on the laundry because all my calls is, is, was, is dirty. Oh. You work on laundry? Or do you work on laundry machine? On <laughs> laundry machine. Okay. Ah. I, I, can, I can wash myself. I can do laundry with myself. I use the laundry machine. Okay, that's good, that's good. All right, excellent. Okay, um, so class, um, I assigned a piece of homework for you guys to do. So I'm hoping that um, that you were all able to um, to do it. That way we can all, um, you know, have the opportunity of of uh, working together and doing the activities. Okay, so let's start first of all with. Um, Okay, so I have my PowerPoint. Please let me know when you can see it. Can you see it? Yes, teacher. Yes. Teacher. yes. Wonderful. Okay, perfect. So we're going today um, to be talking about the Give me a moment. There it is. Okay. So, intermediate module one, unit one, the restaurant industry. And today is Thursday, July 8th, 2021. 
It's day number three. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Um, actually, yeah, okay. So, um, okay, so uh, first of all, the, so this was the homework, the restaurant review. And um, the instructions were write a 10 line review of your favorite restaurant. What services do they offer? What characteristics make this restaurant good? Use comparative adjectives, ER or more than, and courting conjunctions, which were the fanboys. Share your review with your facilitator and classmates. Okay, so um, what we're gonna do right now is, since um, you should have already done this, I'm going to get you guys to work in groups and share this, right? So we're gonna be sharing it with our classmates. So, um, Let's uh, make groups of hmm, three, three or four. We'll make groups of three or four. And I'm going to give you, um, I'm going to give you um, about hmm, uh, maybe about 13 minutes to work on this um, because I want you guys, well, First of all, there's gonna be three or four of you in a group. So I want enough time for everybody to talk about the restaurant, but also ask questions about it. So I don't want you guys just to limit yourself to just asking, um, you know, just the, the, you know, just wanting to know the simple things like um, what characteristics makes a good restaurant, right? Like ask more questions about it. Like when was the last time you went? You know, what do you usually order? What's your favorite dish, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So make conversation. That's the idea with this activity, to make conversation, okay? So we're gonna open up all the rooms. So please go ahead and join your group. Uh, Jerry, are you there? Jerry, are you there? Jerry? Jerry? Okay, I'm gonna go in and join the other groups, okay? is better for me this restaurant is better than another italian restaurant because the atmosphere is very cozy and familiar sorry, it, not that, not that can, sorry. You cook, can you cook can you cook the italian food yeah ah you can cook yeah okay <laughs> and i do and i can do an italian food i prepare lasagna and i think it's, it's very good you can do it. You can do it. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, well, for that atmosphere is very cozy and familiar, and um, it's not a big restaurant and not a small. It's a small. Uh, it is has a small garden and tables for two persons. So I think for that is very romantic, and it also has many pictures of Italian country and principal city, cities like Flo Florence, Roma, Tuscany, etc. And for me, it's special because always with my family, go there to celebrate so events uh, or birthdays and always prepare this year with quality and great sauces. The sauces is very good. My favorite dish is lasagna. The meat, the meat is so great. I really recommend go to the restaurant, which is North Avenue in San Salvador, near to the Club Arabe. El Rosal, the restaurant El Rosal. Rosal. Yeah, yeah, I know. 
and the pizza is so different, okay? Yeah. I remember, I remember it. The pizza is so different because it's a slim, a slim pizza. Uh -huh. is, is this true? Yeah, uh, it's um, made with the, the pasta is made with the, the, it's, the, it's made with them. They prepare but, the pasta. Yes, they, but mm -hmm. they only have uh, one restaurant, only one? Yeah, only one. This is the old restaurant. Very yes. Oh, really? Since, yeah, since 1979. Uh, when, when, when I was a joke, I visited. <laughs> <laughs> so it's an old restaurant, yes. But the, uh, <laughs> but the ambient, the ambient, the ambient, the atmosphere is the similar, no change. Yeah. Yeah. No, change the... no, there's no change. And, it's very cozy. Yes, mm -hmm. but uh, all the restaurants have to change the ambience. Uh, this is, this uh, one now. In, this... in marketing, in marketing, mm -hmm. you change the, the the ambience for five years. Mm -hmm. For example, mm -hmm. uh, you have a restaurant, you have to change the the ambience with mm -hmm. new, new tools and the the look and many mm -hmm. things, but the Rosal is the same. It is the same when I, when I was a junk many years for ago. They, yeah, for them it's not important the, 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 the marketing, it's more important the quality of the food and the, and the, and the atmosphere or ambience for them. Um, very, uh, for you, Heidi. Oh. Natalia, oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> sorry, hi. To, sorry to interrupt you. I just wanted to mention something. I noticed that you used four, um, the the co coordinate conjunction four, which is good. But you used it for that, right? Ah, for that. Yeah. I, so we're not going to use the word that. Just simply four uh, and four. Four and then the reason, right? Ah, uh, okay. okay. All right, so Thank for you. blah, 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 and the reason, okay? So don't use the word that. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Haiti, Haiti. You, like I'm not here. Okay, it's my turn, right? Um, my favorite restaurant is definitely La Bottega Italiana. It is oh, an Italian. So, La Bottega uh -huh. Italiana. Italiana. Yes, it is an Italian for restaurant. My what favorite... What is so what is? Uh, when I went the white white time, the tiempo de espera. Waiting time. Waiting time. Waiting time. Uh, when, uh, when, waiting time. Waiting time. Uh, I went the waiting time. What's that? Is, but uh, who we were a smaller group, and uh, they had attended faster than other larger group and the personal is very nice and the beach is wonderful the the food was good but it is so expensive and there were a lot of flights yeah, only that okay i'm going to talk about a, a restaurant near to there but what did you order when the when you went to the what the name the restaurant? Uh, Lomo y la Uja. Yes, uh, uh, we are we we order um, a tom big ham. steak. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, 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 tom ham, two tom ham. Uh, I went uh, with my family. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. <coughs> Just that? Oh. Yes. Uh, okay. I, I am going to talk about the La Pam Argentina Costa del Sol. It's, it's a net to the Romo y la Aguja. Uh, that, that is my favorite uh, restaurant. Uh, for its atmosphere and also view of uh, Haltepeque Estuary. Um, they have the more beautiful decoration than other restaurants in the area. 
Um, so the experience is really relaxing and comfortable. Um, food and the service are very good. You can order meat or seafood. Um, Waiter are very friendly. <clears throat> uh, on the also outside area, you can have a table next to the water and see the boats uh, pass on the on the water. Uh, but it could be a, a, a little a hot. If you don't like the hot weather, <laughs> don't be at the outside area. Um, in the in indoor area, and they are uh, they are they have a has um, an IC. A different AC, it says more cold. Um, what else? Um, um, I don't know. The, the dishes are, are very, very, very good. The taste uh, are very good. The, I ordered um, uh, chicken on roast chicken I, a la planche, a la, no, a la parrilla, como se dice, teacher? Roast, grilled. Or, no. no, you said grilled. Grilled, grilled, uh, grilled, uh, grilled uh, chicken is a, a, a very, 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 very. Um, I really recommend you to visit. That uh, could be a, a, a interesting experience for you. Yeah. That. <laughs> So, question. So, do you have any question? Yeah. Or teacher. How do you spell grill? Grill. Um, how do you spell it? I read it right now. Oh, thank you, Ryan. Okay. Okay. And that's a grill, and 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 the adjective is grilled. Grilled. With the uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So grill is the verb, right? Um, to grill something, and grilled is the adjective. Okay, so um, you can say have a grilled, grilled uh, chicken. For example. Grilled chicken. Yes. Like uh, finished with a T or D. 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 Oh, and the pronunciation is yes. also with the D. Grilled. D. Okay. Uh, grilled. grilled. Okay, anything else? Okay. No, I was the, the last one. <laughs> okay, um, so ask more questions. The idea is to continue practicing, okay? The more, the more you speak, the better. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. <laughs> that you can eat on... And you can uh, see other people, other atmosphere with uh, more people, different kind of people. When you see it, uh, you can eat alone or... or... Sorry, uh, I, I remember um, a review in 2080. Um, we went on a trip with, uh, with my family to the yeah. royal, to the royal of the Cameron Salinita. Uh, it it was a, a stay of three three days and two nights. They had a, a carter restaurant service, um, buffet food, but uh, we select the service uh, at night. Uh, the menu in the restaurant of food or seafood. Um, seafood, seafood. One, uh, one of the attra attraction, attraction is, uh, is the open air theater. And there is a dance show, but uh, they also have a karaoke dynamic. Um, it's, it's, all, all the, all the activity in, in, in the, the camera, in, in the camera, yeah. Okay. Well, the camera, uh, go ahead. Just ask them questions. 
Okay, but in the Cameroon, uh, I remember they have a, a, a lot of restaurants. Uh, if you wanna go to the seafood or meal, or yeah. I don't know, where would you go? Uh, I go to seafood, yeah. The, the, oh. seafood, the seafood, seafood restaurant. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember what is the name of the restaurant. But I know, uh, but if I want to go to the restaurant, I have to do a reservation. Maybe at uh, four or five. Uh, because if you don't have a reservation, they, they can serve you the, the dinner. And you, then have, you have to go to the cafeteria area. And that food is not really good. Oh, okay. I mean, I go to the... Before I leave the... All right, guys, so how was your conversation? Did you guys uh, have enough time to talk? Yes, yes. teacher. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. All right, good, good. So um, share with me what some of you, what are some of the places that you reviewed? What were some, some places? Tell me about them. To name us, talk and write something about the Plaza Cafe Expression that just ran is in Santana. Oh, in Santana. Yes, and apparently they have a lot of desserts and uh, pasta is better than the Pizza Hut pasta. And, they, and she said his beat is uh, cheaper. No. <laughs> that, that, that was Ana Claudia? Is Suleyma? No, no, no. Oh, <laughs> I was okay. in another group. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I just, uh, I heard Santana, so I thought, oh, okay. No, she's oh. <laughs> Okay. Suleyma so. is in Santana, too. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Where, where is she? I can't find. Ah, oh, there she is. Okay, so <laughs> go on. Um, tell, actually, you're, she's right next to you. So, from <laughs> yes. okay. so um, Yvonne, tell, so what is the name of this place? Uh, Expresión Café Cultural. Oh, yes, it's delicious. So you also approve it? Oh, yes. Yes, and, and yes. Uh, the owner is one of our best friends, the family, but they, they cook delicious, uh, all the, yeah. the food right there. And, 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 and it's not expensive, the, right? Uh, no, no, it's not expensive. Oh, and expensive. the food is, is really, really delicious. And they help, I, I don't know how to say, uh, emprendedores. Uh, entrepreneurs, the teacher said. Entre, como es? On, entre. On, entre. 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 Uh, 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 they help, uh, they give uh, a space. For example, if you want to sell your products, for example, uh, you may... Uh, necklaces or jewelry or uh, stuff that you that you make uh, they have uh, a space that you can put your products and they sell the, the your products exactly. uh, it's yeah it's, it's really um, a good option for people that uh, can uh, have uh, your uh, <laughs> Uh, a, a lockout uh, or in, in um, I, don't, I don't know how to say, uh, un local propio, uh, they have that, that people. and Their, their, own, uh, their own place. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And the praise, 
uh, is is really low because I think it's uh, nine dollars in one month for the space, and for me is a is a really good option. And the atmosphere of the restaurant is really nice. It, the decoration is really beautiful, and they have a backyard with a binder binder. I I think un viñedo mm -hmm. eh, en el patio trasero with uh, many many tables and some friends go to that restaurant to teach uh, for example to make uh, decorations in the cup or for example uh, work with uh, I don't know how to say porcelana fría um well porcelana is uh china mm -hmm. so um oh you oh you said fina poetry no porcelana fría fría is ah, is it's like for me it's like oh uh, some people uh, choose that restaurant to teach uh the products that when they, they, they create the the Kind of like in the movie Ghost. No, oh, ese barro, no. ese barro. <laughs> ese es como cerámica lo que dice. Es como mm. cerámica, verdad, lo que dice. Ah, okay, uh -huh. okay. Oh, okay. So yeah, maybe it's pottery then, because uh huh, yeah, because. This is pottery. I don't, I don't know really. I'm not. I, I really have never heard of um, porcelana fría, but it's probably pottery. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, I think I I have a, a cup with that decorations. Let me see if I find it. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. So what, what is the name of this place? Mm, hey, what? I don't... Expresión Cultural. Café Expresión. Instagram says Café yes. Expresión Cultural. Cultural, yes. It's because you can find a space, we, as she said. It? It's in Santa Ana. It's located here in Santa Ana. Yes. That well, is what I was okay, explaining. Where the area of Santa Ana is located? Uh, it will it's be... in Parque Colón. In front of Siwakop. Uh, oh, Siwakop. Uh, yes, I, ha I have that cup. Let me see. On the virtual, I'm gonna, okay. Uh, this is uh, porcelana fría. Decorations with porcelana fría. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Uh, that's, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that would be pottery. Uh-huh. Uh, I have a, 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 bueno, I, I know uh, some people that, uh, in that restaurant, make the talleres. Uh, so you buy you you buy the material, and the, there is a, a taller like a taller. A workshop. A workshop. Workshop. No, what happened is that they lend the space. Uh, the owners for this cafe, they lend the space for entrepreneur people. So the same, they have a space if you want to offer it. Uh, a conference they have a room for that they also have an area where you can purchase books. interesting books because they are not commercial books they used to have um, like uh where i can i can i don't know if i can use this word but not common uh books or not common uh, things yeah that is interesting Okay, okay, interesting. Maybe we can can be an an excursion to uh, yes. cafe <laughs> cafe cultural to know yes, the place. Just for you super nice. Just for you to make the uh, an idea if you <laughs> hey yes, you can come here. <laughs> Uh, just for you to have an idea about the prices and the full size relationship. You can compare um, Pizza Hut breakfast. Uh, you pay uh, like around $5 in Pizza Hut. And $6, you pay, I think. $6, and, and $6, $7. Next, 
en la expresión cultural, you pay a half, you pay two and fifty, you have the uh, coffee Three refill. Dollars. You have a use. Oh, you're, you're eating corn. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm eating. <laughs> yes, I noticed. I was going to tell you before. I'm getting hungry. People, I'm getting very hungry. In all of us, we're talking about food. <laughs> Yes, Sorry. okay. All right, well, that sounds interesting. Um, maybe one day they'll have one in San Salvador. That would be great, you know, so that, um, yeah. But that's, that's good. I like the fact that they, um, that they, um, they support the entrepreneurs, you know, and that's very important. Yeah, so that's good. That's very good. Okay, guys, well, um, I'm glad you guys were able to talk a little bit about the the um, the restaurants. Any other restaurants that you guys were able to review? I shared my restaurant that was like Mexican food. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. What what kind of like uh, what kind of restaurant is it? Like fast food kind of thing, or is it more like uh, is it very formal, informal? Yes. A little bit formal because you have to make a reservation. Okay. okay. Uh, the name of the restaurant is La Marquesa. So it's back to the Price Mar Santa Elena mm -hmm. in one plaza right there. So it's a good restaurant. They have a the new ingredient that I don't know if you heard that uh, some like birria. Birria. It's delicious, yes. Birria. Yeah. Tacos de birria. Mm. Yeah. I taste them the first time last May. That's, that's a Mexico. Kind of that, that. Delicious. Yeah, it's really good taste. What is birria? Oh, it's a combination of some meat, but I don't know what kind I of I understand it's a is. it's a part of the pink, but I they were explaining that I don't remember what part <laughs> is. Yeah, but they use the, a lot of it's the process they use to cook it and eat that birria in, in tacos. Is, oh. Yeah, also the birria <laughs> has cinnamon like, too. It's not like a tripa? So, tripa? No. no, 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 they, it's they the taste same. different. Tripas is different, it's delicious too, but it's different. Use a really, really, really big piece of meat and you put it uh, in water and you add some uh, Ingredient. spices, and tomato, the chili, and I don't know. Pepper. But that, that's, that's so good. In the capital, they, they took a lot of idea tacos. Yes. Yeah. If you I love the, I love how Yvonne is just like really getting into that. <laughs> <laughs> Corn. <laughs> she's just, you know, she's just getting going for it. Wow. <laughs> Talking about tacos and beer. Yeah. No, yeah. but it's it really good taste. It's really good taste. <laughs> okay. If you want to taste just a good Mexican that, food, that's it, beer. I am eating birria. <laughs> <laughs> this gets good to use your imagination. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Excellent. All right. Well, if, if you were not hungry before, I think you definitely will be hungry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Well, um, excellent. So now that we've had the chance to talk about that, let's uh, move on to our next part. Um. So I'm going to share again on my PowerPoint. Let's see. Tell me, please, if you can see it. Yes, we see. Yes. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. All right. So we're going to be looking at a conversation. But before we look at the conversation, let's discuss about this. What is your favorite starter? Do you guys understand what a starter is? Anybody understand no. what a starter? No, please explain. Like a <clears throat> yeah. Is that, is that a appetizer? No. 
and try. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. And there are voila. there are places yeah. where you will uh, pe you will hear people call it a starter, and there are places where you will hear people call it an appetizer. Oh. Oh, appetizer. 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 Okay. So an appetizer or a starter is uh, some food that um, it, it basically it it's before the main course, right? And what it does, the function is that it just um, kind of opens um your appetite, okay? Uh, it opens your appetite um, to, um, so that you can um, go ahead and enjoy your main meal. And sometimes a starter also helps you to calm a little bit your hunger, right? Because if you're really hungry and you don't wanna be waiting so much for the main dish, then you might wanna start with an, a starter, right? That's why it's called a starter because it's the first um, thing that you eat before the, entre the the main dish, right? Okay, so what is your favorite starter? Don't answer, don't answer me yet. I'm just asking. Um, these are the questions we're gonna be looking at. The next question is, hold on. The next question is, have you ever eaten at an all you can eat restaurant? Do you, do you understand what is an all you can eat restaurant? Yes, yeah. You pay and you can okay. eat uh, like a whatever you want. Yeah, like exactly. A buffet. Yeah, buffet. exactly. Yes, there's usually a buffet. Exactly. Remember, buffet, not buffet. Buffet. Okay. Um, so yes, uh, an all-you-can-eat uh, restaurant is. Um, uh, you you have there's a fixed price so you pay the you pay one time but usually it's a bit expensive right because of course um, you are able to eat anything you want and as many times as you want so it's a little bit expensive but once you pay for it you can eat and eat and eat until you don't want to eat anymore okay so that's all you can eat restaurant and finally, the last question is, what was the menu like? So at the all-you-can-eat restaurant, what did they have? What kind of food did they have? Okay, I'm gonna get, I'm going to take you back to your groups and I want you to discuss these questions. Okay, got it? Okay. Okay, all right. So let's, um, again, I'm going to, I'm gonna give you probably this time about 10, 10 minutes, okay, to discuss. All right, so let's open the rooms. Uh, for example, the, the first Como entrada. Dish, yes, the first dish that you eat when you come to the restaurant. Um, I think quesadillas. I like it. Quesadillas okay. with guacamole, oh. avocado with tomato. <laughs> I don't know. I think. Okay. Uh, what about you, Andres? I like uh, the Kaiser in a restaurant in Skipulas is like uh, 40 minutes, 45 minutes from my town. It's a small chicken soup, soup, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that's my favorite starter. 
Okay. Uh, in my, ah, Juan Francisco, do you want to start with yours? Uh, in my case, uh, usually don't, I don't order the uh, started, <laughs> okay. mm, but uh, when I order the starter, uh, usually I think quesadillas. I think. <laughs> okay. Cheese. Okay. In, in my case, I I like um, uh, a little cup of soup. The the, the restaurant I I, I told you about uh, La Pampa gives you a, a little cup of um, a soup. And another um, starter I like is uh, nachos with chili. I, I really like. Uh, yes. <laughs> How about you, teacher? <laughs> um, appetizers um, or starter, I don't know. Um, I think I like a, it's probably garlic bread. You know, I like some garlic. Uh, bread. Yes, I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. garlic bread. Uh, oh, by the way, um, just okay. wanted to mention it's avocado. 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 Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Teacher, teacher uh, um, I don't know if uh, I made a mistake. How, how do you pronounce it? Uh, Soap, soup, or soup, yeah, soup, soup is fine. Yeah, yeah. The other one is soap. Soup. Soap. Uh, but um, to pronounce sabon. To pronounce what? Sabon. Sabon. Uh -huh. Soap. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Soap. 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 But, no. Yeah, but soup. the other one is soup. Soup. Ooh. Soup. Okay. Soup and soap. I have a question. Uh -huh. Lo voy a decir en español. Nosotros conocemos la sopa y el caldo porque uno como que es más, pero en, en es diferente. Pero en inglés es is only in general soup, right? No, the caldo is broth. Uh, broth. Okay. Broth. Broth. Okay. Like the beginning of brother broth. Uh, yeah, but this is broth. broth. Uh, not, not, not. With um, feet. No, okay. it's well. I wrote it in the chat. Okay. Broth. Mm -hmm. Broth. Okay. And the next, uh, we have the next question is: Have you ever <laughs> eaten at all you can eat restaurant? Yes, in my case, yes. <laughs> Sometimes yes. I, I went. <laughs> no, sushi is the, no, I'm not a fan of sushi. I don't know why. I maybe it happens sushi. the same as Jose. Maybe, maybe it happens the same as Jose that he doesn't like pasta. Mm -hmm. I remember one time I taste this food, sushi, but I said, what is the special thing here? Because it's rice with, I don't know, maybe the-, the Rice to... with avocado, uh, avocado uh, aguacate. Yeah. Avocado. Uh, avocado. 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 Okay. Uh, Philadelphia cheese, for example. Okay. Sushi, sushi uh, is the, the rose, the little rose. Yes, the rose, uh, yeah. I don't like that. No. <laughs> And ha have you ever eaten at um all you can eat restaurant? Yes. Uh, one time in Unan, it's a Chinese restaurant too. Okay. Unan, yeah. You can order uh, whatever uh, food and sushi too. Uh, that's really good. Do they have yeah. like an special day for the all you can eat, or is uh, for every day? 
option? No, it was a long time ago, but it was a special day. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. The one I remember, I had a lot. Uh, it's a, uh, all you can eat is, I don't remember the name. This one that is in the hotel. Ay. Carne. No, el de las carnes. Ah, uh -huh. Fiesca do Brasil. Fiesca do Brasil. Oh, yes. Very really good, I, too. Yes, because I remember, I if I'm not grown, what I pay for all what I wanted to eat, it was $25. It was $25 per person. I will go to the last several years. You know, that's really expensive because my mom and my girlfriend, they can eat a lot of, and that's why, that's, that you are right. That's a lot of money and you can eat a lot of it. Maybe yeah. you can pay around $5 or, and you, I do eat really good. Mm -hmm. But, but yeah, yeah, no, but I, I can, I can. Uh, for example, when we bought uh, Chinese food, <laughs> I can eat three times with a with a with a dish because mm -hmm. it's a lot of a lot of food. <laughs> okay. What restaurant? What Chinese restaurant? I the, I, I like China Walk and I like another restaurant in Santa Ana and the name is Kailan Chino. Yeah, I like I like. Uh, no, no, it's not, it's not a it's not a buffet, but I like take a the, the food is is a lot when you when you buy a, a, a dish or a or a combo, a familiar combo. So you you don't need and and all you can eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that happened for my birthday. We my girlfriend invited me to the chai and what's the name? Don't leave. And they she paid two plates, and but that's a lot of food. With sushi and wonton and rice. That, that was a really, really, really good. And a, lot, a lot of food. <laughs> <laughs> and then you sleep all the the afternoon yeah. no but that was for the dinner <laughs> oh yeah yeah that wow that was for the, my dinner <laughs> and you had a sorry um i remember um uh, the restaurant all all you can eat um, the the Papa John's? No. Yeah. Um, is 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 very is all all all, all it 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 family and in the special um, um, pizza is is very. Is very good. Sí, la verdad, that, that actually the 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 papayón is the better. Uh, the restaurant, uh, the desert. Which would you like to eat? The desert. Ah, uh, creme brulee. It's my favorite. Okay. Edwin, okay. Edwin, what what was your question? The, Which is my favorite? The favorite desert. desert. Ah, desert. Okay, so, desert, desert, creme so, brulee. And you, Natalie? Yeah, creme brulee, the same. Okay. Uh, really? Wow. wow. Good. <laughs> Very good. Edwin, I just wanted to mention, yeah? uh, is it your favorite desert or your favorite dessert? Desert. Desert, desert. or desert? Yeah. No, desert. Desert? I don't know how to pronounce this. Okay, because desert is desierto. Ah, this, desert. Yeah, I know. Desert. So dessert. 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 
dessert. Dessert. Dessert. Is the 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 pastry no dessert? It's like dessert. 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 So, dessert is like a so sugar. Dessert. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> dessert is dessert. Is okay. Dessert. Okay. Dessert. 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 Sorry. Wait. Okay. Okay. Dessert. De, de, not D. D, no, it's de. de. Desert is desierto. De. Yeah, de. Yeah. The stress is on the first syllable, desert. But the other one is dessert. 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 Yes. The stress is dessert. on the second syllable. Dessert. 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 Yes. Okay. Dessert. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, good, good, good. Are you guys finished? We start. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, perfect. I'll see you in the main room then. Okay. Okay, teacher. So I I I really love the creme brulee one. So we went to the break, right? Okay, great. So everybody had a chance to discuss with your partners. Yes. 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 So tell me. Um, tell me, what were your favorite starters? Canapes. What? Canapes. 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 Okay. Okay. Good. Uh huh. Good. Another. Another one. Mejillones. Actually. With garlic. <laughs> in, in in English. Oh, I don't know. Nachos is nachos in Spanish and in English. Mejillones, you say? Or nachos? No, mejillones. Mejillones with garlic. Uh, we discussed with um, salad and onion greens. Oh, it sounds delicious. Mm -hmm. I just got hungry. So, how do you say? Teacher, how do you say consomme? Rough. Rough. Yes. Okay, but um, once again, I asked the question, how do you say mejillones? Because mejillones is in Spanish. So how do you say mejillones in English? Um, it's like a muscle, no, muscle. Like muscle. Yeah, they, uh, thank you very much, Edgar. Uh, <laughs> that wrote it on, yes, exactly, uh, muscles. And, and they are- Google tell muscle. It's pronounced the same way as muscle. I was about to ask, it's the same pronunciation? Yeah, same pronunciation, yes. Uh -huh. And uh, caldo, it's, it's broth, okay, broth. 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 Okay. It's kind of soup, right? Yeah, it's a soup, but it's, it's um, the, the broth. It's for a little recipe. It, uh, the thing about broth wow. is that it's um, a little thicker because it comes directly, it's from the water that you boil like chicken or, or a hen or a turkey in, right? So, um, so it, that's why it's like a little thicker, you know, and it um, contains the nutrients from the chicken or the, or or the hen yeah okay yeah okay all right anything else any other 
starters that you really like? Okay, I just want to make, I, I, I heard this word a lot while I was visiting the groups. Um, so I'm going to just make sure everybody knows the correct pronunciation. Mm. <laughs> so this is avocado. 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 Yeah. Um, yeah, avocado. Yeah, teacher. Avocado. Avocado. The pronunciation, the pronunciation, avocado. Are you ever avocado. listening avocado. <laughs> avocado. 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 Yeah, actually, uh, that sounded more Portuguese <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, avocado. Avocado. Like avocado. Avocado. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Avocado. 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 <laughs> exactly. Avocado. Okay. Um, avocado. Yeah. Avocado. Uh, and, and I also heard this word, which is actually not really English, but you know. Um, Oh, mm, the sushi. Yeah, be be careful. It's sushi, not sushi. <laughs> sushi. It's not yes. chi. It's not chi. It's she. The red dragon of sushi is is really good. Sushi. <laughs> the red dragon of the sushi is really good. Oh, really? So it's a taste. Yeah. Okay, I've never, I've never tasted it. I'll take your word for it. Okay. So, sushi is a, like a pronounce, pronouncing with CH. It's strong. Sushi. 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 So, think of it like she, like a woman, right? Sushi. Mm -hmm. Sushi. Okay. So, it's not sushi. It's not sushi. It's sushi. Okay. All right. Okay, good. Um, I, I wanted to also mention this. I know it's going to come up at some point in our unit, but I'm going to tell you right now because I think it's important. Uh, do you guys remember that when I was asking about starters, uh, you some people said appetizers and some people said entradas, right? Which is the word that we use in Spanish, right? We can, I, in Spanish, you either say entradas or um, aperitivos, right? Um, so we can we can use either one, but be careful to not confuse the word. Oh. Entree, which is another French word. Mm -hmm. Okay, so an repeat entree, the pronunciation, please. Can you repeat the pronunciation, please? Mm -hmm. On tray. On tray. Now, an on tray is not una entrada. Mm -mm. Okay, so don't confuse them. Anybody know what an on tray is? Mm -hmm. And I, I will, I'm going to help you a little bit by putting this word. Mm -hmm. Main door is the it's like the main door. The main main, uh, main entry. Main entry. Main entree. Main entree. Main entree. Main entree. It's an entree. And, and trees in and trees is not another word. Entree, yes, on, but but that's in general, like plural. This is plural. Entrees. Main entry, main entry. The main entry of the in the restaurant. The main entry in a restaurant comes after the starter. Oh, okay. Okay. So, what is an entree? Plato principal, yes. Yeah. Principal is like a na nacho, so. so it's like a what did you say? Sushi, um, nacho, I don't know. No, 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 because then that, that would be more like, um, that would be like the appetizer, right? Or the soup. Oh, okay. But the entree, oh, maybe a soup? No, the entree is the main dish. 
okay? Mm. So it'd be like uh, the spaghetti or the chicken, the grilled chicken or the barbecue uh, meat or the, <clears throat> or I don't know, the baked fish. That is the entree. Okay, mm. in Spanish we call it? Plato principal. Plato principal. You will also, um, you can also find it as main dish. But in some places you will, the, you will see it as entree. Actually, it's probably more common to say entree than to say main dish. Okay. 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 All right. So don't confuse, don't confuse those words. It's entree is not entrada. Okay. All right, is that clear for everybody? So we can find either just entry or as a main entry. Um, yeah, just the word entree. I use ah, okay. the word main entree because just to help you out a little bit. Just ah, okay, okay. But most of the time you'll just find it as an entree. entree. But that's happening okay. in a restaurant on a big dinner. That's that, that's, that's not regular, right? No, because um, you don't necessarily will always start with a starter. To be honest, I rarely ask for a starter. Like, so I go directly to the entree, personally, personally. But that's, you know, that's everybody. That's, it's different for everybody. Uh, but definitely if it's like a more, like a more formal restaurant, you're going to find in the menu, it will say entree. Now, if you're going to go somewhere like McDonald's, no, right? You're not going to find that. But if you're going to, you know, if you're going to a, a more, you know, formal restaurant, yeah, it would be entree, okay? The other word I heard a lot is this word. Sir. Okay. Yeah, which should not be confused with the spelling. Easter and dessert. <laughs> pronunciation of desert. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. I, I think I have, I think I have explained this before. If I'm yes. not sure. But in the previous course. <laughs> courses, yes, I think I've explained this. But since not everybody has heard it, my explanation, I'm gonna explain it one more time. Um, so, Thank you. Um, yeah, yeah, no, of course. Um, we're get, we treat every course just like, you know, like the first day. So um, I, I think it'll be easier if I um, explain it through a word document. The word page. <laughs> yes, it's better. I was about to say that. Yeah. This shirt is in Africa. This shirt is in Well, yeah, not only in Africa. Okay, <laughs> okay so. Um, so two words. Um, that very similar in in um, in pronounce. Sorry, and very similar in um, in spelling, and even a little bit in pronunciation, but it's not exactly the same. Okay. So what's the difference? Well, one is something you eat. The other one, if you eat. You're probably gonna die. <laughs> okay, so, so uh, yeah, we don't really do that. <laughs> okay, so anyways, um, this one, this this one here, is actually the one that you eat. Okay, the one that you will find at a restaurant. Okay, now how do you remember this? Um, two things that you need to know. Do you notice we have a double S? Well, I told them well, the way I I, I like to teach this and and you get you guys to remember is that think about your favorite dessert you know I don't know it could be ice cream or it could be chocolate cake or a tiramisu or you know or whatever okay but so think about your favorite dessert now when it's your favorite dessert and it's well done like or you know somebody knows how to really make it you don't want to have one piece 
right, of that dessert, right? You don't want to, you don't want one piece of, uh, you know, chocolate cake or of cheesecake or of ice cream. You want two because, you know, it's so good, you want more, right? So think of it that way. That's why we have a two S's because you want to have two pieces of your favorite dessert, okay? So that's something you can re remember, right? Two S's because you want two pieces of that, of that dessert, okay? It's really good. Now, the other thing is that the other thing you can remember, just give me a moment while I, I'm gonna try to, Okay, so the other thing I, uh, I want you to remember is that of course we have um, two syllables here, right? Okay, and the two syllables are divided like this. So we say desert, desert. Now, how do you know which one you're going to, this was the same. How do you know where you're going to put the stress? Well, if it has two S's, then you're going to put the stress on the second syllable. And if it has one S, you're going to put the stress on the first syllable. So two, two S's, second syllable. One S, first syllable. Okay, so you're gonna say dessert dessert. And this one's going to be desert. Desert. Okay. Dessert. Desert. Sounds good? Okay. Yes. So dessert. Desert. You, and it's pronounced as de, not d. So it's not desert, it's desert, desert, and desert. Desert, I want to write in the desert. Mm -hmm. So you can have your, your um, dessert in the desert. <laughs> but don't have the desert in the dessert. <laughs> Okay. But you can eat the dessert and dessert. Sorry, what was that? You can eat a dessert and dessert. Yes, yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, just be careful with that. Okay, um, I just noticed that I got, I was so carried away that, you know, I was having so much fun explaining this topic that I forgot that I need to I need to take our attendance okay so I'm going to take that right now okay. um <clears throat> hold on just a second Okay, here we go. Once again, we're going to start with Ana, Ana Claudia. Present teacher. All right, good. Um, have it? Have it? No. Okay. Present, present, present. Oh, oh. Sorry, sorry. Okay, sorry about that. I didn't, I said I heard you. Okay, great. I'm happy you were able to connect. Okay. Good. Um, Andres? Present, teacher. All right, good. Um, Dennis Orlando? Dennis Orlando? No. Edgar? Present, present, teacher. Excellent. Edith Chorleni? Edith Chorleni? No. Okay. Um, eh, Irvin? 
Present. All right. Uh, Fabiola? Fabiola? Okay. Uh, Heidi? Present, teacher. All right. Um, Irene? Present, teacher. Okay, good. Ivan? Present, teacher. Okay. Josue? Josue? Hi, teacher. Present. All right. Uh, Juan Francisco? Present. All right. Cherry? Present, teacher. All right. Excellent. Um, Luis? Present teacher. Okay, great. Who, uh, Manuel Alejandro? Nope, right. Okay, uh, Natalia. Present teacher. All right. Wendy? Present. Okay, Warner? Present teacher. Uh, okay, wonderful. Okay, um, Yvonne? Present. Okay, great. Uh, Edgar Enriquez. I'm here. Okay. Wonderful. Um, Eli. Present. All right. Jose Montes. Present. All right. And finally, Jose Ayala. Present here. Okay, good. Excellent. All right, so got that done. Okay. All right, so now that we've done that, oh, um, there's just a few things I wanted to um, speak about. Speaking about uh, vocabulary, I also wanted to add this vocabulary before I forget, which is um, side dish. Do you guys know what a side dish is? Anybody know oh, what a side no. dish? <clears throat> the complement huh? for the food can be rice and chicken or salad or no. Sorry, I, 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 it sounds a little muffled, but I don't know if I, I think you said, right? Like, did you say, is it, is it right? Right? Yeah, yes, you say right. Yes, rice is, for example, rice, uh, chicken, salad. Yeah, yeah. It's exactly. like, it's like, uh, it's like uh, no chicken, no meat. It's uh, around the principal food. Right. Around exactly. the principal food. Yeah. For example, salad, uh, potato, uh, in Spanish, say guarnición. Okay. No, no, I think so. Yeah, I think that it's called guarnición. Yeah, yeah. So basically, yeah, it's not the main dish, right? Like I said, the main dish would be maybe like the the grilled chicken or the barbecued, you know, the barbecued beef or the baked um, fish or the spaghetti. But then the side dish are the parts that um, they go together with the entree um, and yes they can include salads rice uh, soup um, like a little portion of soup or broth um, they could be um, I don't know what else could it be um, can you guys think of anything else oh yeah I guess in El Salvador like beans right mm -hmm. could it be beans what else Mm -hmm. Vegetables, yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Okay. okay, does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Good. Um, so yeah, those are that has to do with the vocabulary for restaurants that I wanted to tell you guys about. Okay. All right. Good. Let's continue now. So please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Yes. Yeah, okay, good. So let's uh, discuss these, this, or better so let's read 
this conversation that we have here. Okay, this conversation is between Nancy and Jennifer. Okay, and um, just like we've done before, you can open up your um, your microphone and practice reading it after me. Okay, so here we go. How well are the new menu items doing? How well are the new menu items doing? Doing. 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 Items. 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 So it's not items. items. No. Items. 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 Doing. 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 Sorry. <laughs> okay. Items doing. Yes. Okay. Sounds good, everybody. We understand items. Yes. yes. Okay. All right. Next. The main fish and chips. The main, the main, main fish, fish and chips. chips. Horses are doing great. Horses, Horses are, are doing great. Ninety-nine percent of people. Ninety-nine percent of people. Okay. Like, like, like them. Like, like, them. like them. Like them. Like them. Then. 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 then, then the new lemon cake line. The new, the new lemon, lemon, lemon cake, cake line. line. Yes. line. <laughs> it's not doing very well. It's, it's not, not doing well. well. Very well. Very well. Very well. Only 35% Only 35 of our customers like it. Of our customers, our customers like, like it. it. Like it. Like it. Like it. Like it. Like it. No. Like it. Not like it. Like it? No. <laughs> Liked it. Light it. It's like there is a T at the beginning. Okay, next. Um like it. I? okay. Let me check. Let, let, me, me check, check. let me check the online polls. The, the online, online, online polls. polls. Oh. Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. Where did it go? Okay. Where things are happening. The good ghost. Yes. Yes, the ghost uh, appeared. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, where were we? Where were we? Where were we? Uh, let me check. Oh, let me check. <clears throat> For recent products. For recent products. 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 Recent products. 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 Just like the same as production. <laughs> production. That word, my God. Production. 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 But this production. is like products. So it's, product. Not, it's product. Not, product. Product. so it's not it's not products, it's not products, it's products. Product. The stress is on the first products. 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 Is that clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, the churro. All right, let's go on to the next one. Yes, just like you said. Yes, yes. Just, like yes. You said. just like you said. It seems the new nacho snack. It is the new nacho snack. New nacho snack. New nacho snack. Are doing great. Are doing great. Eighty percent of customers. 
I'm sorry, can I ask you something? Maybe we can all mute our microphones and you can read it alone. Maybe we can hear better because sometimes there wasn't able to hear well. Okay, yeah, no problem. So if you guys can all mute your, your, your microphone, um, I'll just go ahead and read it and you guys can just listen and in your, the privacy of your own home, you can go ahead and also repeat, right? Okay, so here we go. How well are the new menu items doing? The main fish and chips courses are doing great. Ninety nine percent of people like them. Then the new lemon cake line is doing very well. Only 35% of our customers liked it. Let me check the online polls for recent products. Yes, just like you said, it seems the new nacho snacks are doing great. 80% of customers liked them. Probably we only have to revise the lemon cakes. Since not many people reacted well. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Anything else that you guys need? No? Um, I wanted to mention something. Uh, this has to do with vocabulary. Do you guys understand what is fish and chips? And must go uh, greeting down with the dashes, fish and yeah. chips. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the name of the dish. Oh. Fish and chips. It's a it's a very English. When I say English, I mean like British. It's a very uh, British dish. It's 
very famous British dish. Do you guys know what fish and chips is? Pescado con papa fritas. Exactly. I wanted to mention because chips in the United States are um, papitas fritas, like, pero like papitas de las eh, potato fries. The, uh -huh, like only the, fries, like Pringles. Uh, like Pringles. Like Pringles, yeah, could be. But chips in the in um, in the United Kingdom are actually put like potato, like big pieces of potato that are fried. Okay, so I'm actually going to show you <clears throat> the picture of fish and chips, so you guys can get kind of the idea. Okay, so man, I'm get, I'm I'm getting very hungry now. <laughs> okay, so there you go. So there's the the fish and chips. Okay, yeah. So so this is we're, like I said. Talking about food since one hour ago. <laughs> I know. Well, you know, it is this unit is called the restaurant industry. So. Uh, you know, talking about food is something that's inevitable, okay? So anyway, yeah, so so this is fish and chips, right? So they're papitas fritas, pero papitas de las gruesas, ¿verdad? No de las que usted va a comprar de la diana. <laughs> okay, so just just clarifying that because chips in the in the United Kingdom are these and chips in the in the, in um in in the United States are oops no no hips no sorry <laughs> what <laughs> yeah, sorry <laughs> sorry so about that. Yeah. Oh, God, this is funny <laughs> okay so these are chips in the in the United States okay so yeah swingles uh -huh. and so so just make sure you understand that cultural difference okay. And I also saw that somebody was asking about the word polls. Polls means surveys. Okay. Poll, like. <clears throat> but how many votes that something is getting? Yeah, exactly. Um, hold on. Just give, me a, give me a second. Just give me one second. Uh, my, my, I don't know what's, why this is very slow. I wanted to do something, but it's so slow. I don't know why. It's almost like I had slow internet connection, but I don't. I think it's just, it's just Zoom. Um. Okay, um, hold on, give me a second. Uh, I'm almost done. Okay, you. What is a poll? Um, a poll is this. Let me show you what a poll is. Do y'all see that? Yeah. Yes. Yes. 
Do you like the chips? No. Encuesta. So I only have half of the people have answered. We're almost getting there. Casi todo ya. Only four people haven't answered. Vamos, terminemos de votar. ¿Quién no ha votado? Two people haven't voted yet. Come on, guys. Give me your votes so I can finish it off. British chip is like a frito lay, yeah? It's um, papitas fritas. Not like the free to lay. Similar, the free to lay. The, 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 the thick ones. Yeah, the thick ones. Yeah. The, like the ones that you can do at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So different than what you walk to the McDonald's. Uh, different. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, no, yeah. No, well, actually, no, that, that would be the same as like British chips. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, there's somebody that didn't vote, but uh, anyways, um, I'm just going to, I'm going to show it like this. So from 21 people, 20 people voted, and these are the answers. So there you go. <laughs> so 16 people, or the, which is 80% of the class, or 80% of the people that voted, um, said that they like it, and Four people said no, that's 20%. That's a poll, okay? Yeah? Okay. All right, good. Okay, so just, so I think it's pretty clear. Everybody understands what a poll is, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, good, excellent. All right, so now we're gonna go back um, to the breakout rooms, but we're gonna change groups because this time I'm gonna get you guys to work in pairs. Um, and I'm only gonna give you, four minutes why because all you got to do is practice the conversation okay um so that shouldn't take you very long but of course you're going to switch again one time you're going to be um one time you're going to be the you know fancy i think and the other one's going to be jennifer jennifer thank mm -hmm. you um okay just give me a second Okay, so everybody should have a partner. Okay, so I'm opening all the rooms. Javi? Javi, are you there? Javi? Are you there or no? Javi? Javi? Uh, well, uh, I'm Nancy, and then we switch, right? I don't have the book because I have problems with my computer and my internet, and I I can work with my. It's in the in the in the um in the the group the WhatsApp group. When did you join the group? When did you join the group? Um, let's tweet. Okay, then yeah, then the then it's there. The document is there in the in the in the WhatsApp. You're right. Sorry, I don't remember that. It's okay, but yeah, you will find it there. 
uh, number the page is uh, 12? Uh, 12. 12. Yes. Okay. 12. You are Nancy, Eli? Yeah. Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, how, well, how well are the new menu items doing? The main fish and ships course are doing great. 99% of people like them. Then the new lemon cake line is not doing well, doing very well. Only 35, 35% of our customer like it, like it. Okay. Let me check the online polls for recent products. Yes, just like you said, it seems the new natural snack are doing great. 90% of customers like them. Probably. We only have to receive the lemon cake since not many people react, reacted well. Okay. Now we are switch. Okay. You are Nancy and I'm Jennifer. Perfect. How well are the new menu items doing? The main feature and chips courses are doing great. 99% of people like them. Then the new lemon cake did react well. Reacted well. Mm -hmm. okay. Reacted well, okay. Uh, do you want to practice another time? Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, how how well are the new um just before before you start, uh it got your you have a session, a one-on-one -on -one session today. So just wanted to to remind you. Okay. Okay. All right. So um yeah, so I'll see you after the class. Okay, teacher. Um hello. Okay. How well are the new menu items doing? The main thing. Is in the house again. <laughs> hey, we were missing that. Where were you being this uh, two days? I was in the jail. <laughs> <laughs> it's a jail. Teacher, do you believe me? <laughs> <laughs> I was res rescue rescued uh, Marvin Pitt, but. Ah, uh, Marvin Pitt. I can. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, guys, um, great. So now that we've had an opportunity to practice that conversation, um, let's go ahead and talk about polls. So it says here, the instruction says, look at the graphic and the conversation, write the percentages next to the products, compare answers with the partner. So here are the online polls, okay? Um, as you can see, we have three items, okay? The fish and chips, the lemon cake, and the nachos. And the online polls, just like the ones that we did right now, okay? Uh, we, should, we have, it's, it looks like it's like 100% for fish and chips. It looks like it's um, about 35, probably 35% for lemon cake and um, an 80% for nachos. So, ha, ha, ha. Actually, I shouldn't have said that because I just gave you the answers. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Okay, so, sorry about that. That's not so, sorry. Okay. So, so here, sorry. So the lemon cake, the new lemon cake line is, what's the percentage? 35%. 35%. Right, okay. All right, let me just write that down. 
Hey, you guys are very smart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so 35%. Okay, <clears throat> so that's 35% for the lemon cake line. Uh, actually, let me change that color. I don't like how it looks. I think this one will be better. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what about for the new nacho snacks? 80%. Okay. And finally, for the fish and chips main course. 99%. 99%? Okay. That is what the conversation says. 99%. Okay, there you go. All right, excellent. So which of these three products has the highest percentage of acceptance? Fish, fish and chips. Yeah, definitely the fish and chips main course. Good. Well, it looks good, right? I mean, you saw a picture of it, right? So yeah, mm -hmm. it looks pretty good. All right, um, good. Now, since we already saw the polls, let's um, take a look at the vocabulary here. So we have here starters, snacks, Max, main course. Main course. Main course. The main course is um, the same as the was... entrees. Ah, okay. okay, the entrees, um, the main dish, same thing. I, I was about to ask you because I had that dab. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's the same that. Yeah, entrees. Entree. Mm -hmm. Entree. 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 So we have potato soup, chicken sandwich, German sausage and chips, ice cream, and I Irish cream coffee. What I want you to do is put these words over here in the correct category. You're gonna work with a partner, you're gonna do that. And then you're gonna add one more, one of your favorite items to the categories above. Um, okay, so you're gonna add one, of your, what's your favorite starter, your favorite snack, your favorite main course, your favorite dessert, and your favorite drink, okay? So I'm gonna send you guys to work with a partner, uh, the same partner as before, okay? And, uh, but this time I'm gonna give you five minutes instead, which is not really much of a difference, but, but still. Uh, we have two shoes, we have two shoes uh, only this, and drinks and desserts and snacks or, or my or the no, favorite. No, no, no. Okay, you're gonna first you're gonna categorize these words. Oh, okay. Okay. And then you're going to add your own idea. Okay. So let's uh get you guys back in the breakout rooms. Okay. All right, go ahead. Back in the main room, in the back uh, break room, breakout rooms. Maybe uh, I don't know. Is the the oh, no, no, no. Oh, it's not... cheese and tomato sandwich. 
Good. And what is your favorite main course? The snacks. What do you prefer, the snacks? The snacks could be a... Uh... Cheese and tomato sandwich. Uh, and the main course. I prefer chip, chip. And the main course, yes, and the main course. What do you prefer the main course? Um German sausage and chips sounds good for me. Okay. Oh uh, I prefer uh, meat. Okay. Uh the desserts. Meat with rice. Um lemon cake. Lemon, the dessert, lemon cake. Uh, lemon, yeah. Uh, and the drinks? Uh, I prefer ice cream. Ice cream. Um, I prefer an English tea. Okay. Um, that's all, boy. Yeah. I prefer in the ice cream, in the sun, I prefer vanilla. I have to categorize these words. Oh, okay, to categorize and, oh, okay. and the ice starters. Cream. Ice cream? Me so. Me so. And the starters. Yeah, so. Um, na, na, lemon. Pink lemonade. Lemon. Lemonade. Pink, pink lemonade. And another drink. Ooh. Yeah. Only uh, English. English tea. English dish is um it English tea. English tea. English tea. Yeah, in dreams. In dreams. Yeah. And drinks and another make course is the Thai chicken and rice. Thai is the first one. Thai chicken. Ah, Thai is, yeah, uh -huh. Thai chicken and rice is the main course. The main the main course, yeah. Okay. Or the main entry. <laughs> yeah, entry. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you doing? I uh, just uh, finished uh, the, 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 the homework. <laughs> okay, see you in the main room. Okay. Okay. So, Miss, Miss Jessica, yeah. I have a problem with the electrical service. I'm in La Libertad right now. Yeah. My, my laptop is dying. I can see that. It's low battery. I I was actually going to ask you a few minutes before if you were watching a you're watching a movie and you are making it the ambient. <laughs> <laughs> So it's okay, don't worry about it, Josue. But I do appreciate it. the dark side. Yes. <laughs> he died. <laughs> My God. Yeah. In the darkness side. <laughs> Even with that situation. And that's what it's about. I mean, um, we all have, uh, we have made this, um, this, uh, uh, you know, commitment and um, it's important that we honor it. So thank you very much, Jose, for uh, connecting even with very difficult situations, right? So a very difficult um, event. Okay, but thank you. All right, so guys, um, I know that you didn't have very much time and this is the, I'm going to actually leave it as a homework, okay? So that you guys can finish it off. So remember the idea is one, 
to put the words in the correct category, right? So just to make sure that we understand what we're talking about. Um, okay, so for example, here we have uh, the starters, the snacks, the main course, dessert, and drinks. We are putting these words in the correct category. So to give an example, if we we're going to start with Thai chicken and rice, where would this go? The Thai chicken and rice. Main course. Main course. Main course. It would go in the main course, right? So we would write Thai chicken and rice. All right. Right? And we would put it under this category. Right. OK, so you're you, so you are putting each one of these things in the correct category. OK, so the Thai chicken and rice, the French onion soup, the burger, the cheese and tomato sandwich, uh, the lemon cake, the grilled fish and potatoes, the green salad, the English tea, the pink lemonade and the fruit, the fruit salad and cream. I think they're pretty clear what these things are. So you're just gonna categorize them. And then you're gonna add one more of your favorite things, right? So one, so one starter that is your favorite, one snack that is your favorite, one main course that is your favorite, one dessert that is your favorite, and one drink that is your favorite, okay? okay. And we're gonna be looking at the answers tomorrow, okay? Any questions okay. about the homework? No. No. No teacher. All right. So I'm just going to quickly take attendance. Where's your blinker? Huh? Sorry? No. Somebody said something? No. Okay. Not teaching. All right. So we're going to quickly go over the attendance. So I'm just go call out your name. So it just calls me present if I call out your name. Okay. So first is Ana Claudia. Present teacher. All right, Abby. Thank you, Stoy. I'm here. Present. Good. Um, oh. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Dennis Orlando. Edgar. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, sorry, Edgar Menjiva, right? Edgar. Sorry, no. Sorry. Uh, Edith Jorleni. Urban. Fabiola? Oh, okay, perfect. Fabiola? Um, Haiti? Present teacher. Okay. Irene? Present teacher. All right. Um, Ivan? Present teacher. Okay. Um, Josue? Present teacher. Okay. Juan? Juan Francisco? Present teacher. Jury. Present teacher. Luis. Present teacher. Emmanuel Alejandro. Natalia. Present teacher. Wendy. Present. Warner. Present teacher. Uh, Suleima, Yvonne? Present. Edgar uh, er Enriquez? I'm sorry, I'm here. Eli? Present. Uh, Jose Montes? Jose Montes? Present. Okay, and Jose Ayala? Present, the train. All right, great. All right, guys, so that will be all for today. I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? And um, yeah, that's it. Just don't, don't forget to do the homework, okay? okay. And uh, today is Edgar Menjiva's turn, okay? So everybody else, see you guys tomorrow. Bye. See you. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Good evening. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. Good night. Good evening. <laughs> no, it's good night. Good night. <laughs> good evening. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Uh,
Okay. All right, Edgar. Okay. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estamos? Bien, bien, bien. It's good. Very good, teacher. Good, good. Okay. ¿Qué preguntas tiene para mí, Edgar? Um, realmente sí he, he venido eh, comprendiendo un poco más eh, ahora el, el, el idioma, ¿sí? Okay. Um, la parte de la, la práctica a la hora de hablar, sí, eso me todavía me, me dificulta, ¿verdad? Pero sí comprendo el contexto de la, de la, de la clase eh, y aún cuando interactúo con, con los compañeros, eh, sí puedo, puedo, puedo hacerlo, ¿verdad? Eh, aunque a veces me, me cuesta por, por el vocabulario muchas veces, que es lo que estamos aprendiendo en la, en la clase, ¿verdad? Sí, claro. Pero... pero Pero en términos generales sí me siento ya un poco más, eh, más cómodo, ¿verdad? Y la, y la rapidez para, para, pues como tienes que pensar en inglés, ¿verdad? Para contestarlo mucho más y no estar pensando tanto español, inglés, inglés, español. Porque eso es lo que te, te, te confunde a veces, ¿verdad? Sí, correcto, correcto. Uh -huh. Pero sí, en, en términos generales sí me siento que... que que ahí voy, voy, voy entrando en, en, en el ritmo y, y, y los compañeros que igualmente lo motivan pues, porque te, te, te van empujando, eh. unos van a, algunos hasta habla mucho más, mayor fluidez y uno, uno se siente con el compromiso de alcanzarlo igualmente para poder interactuar. Es, es, es una, una competencia sana en ese sentido y, y, y te ayuda y ellos que pues Te, te favorecen porque te van empujando. ¿eh? Claro, y eso es bueno, sí, correcto, eso es bueno, eh, tener ese, eh, esa motivación, ¿verdad? Eso es muy bueno. Um, muy bien, eh, entonces, um, ¿cómo, qué, ¿qué siente usted que podría hacer para mejorar ahí la, el speaking, verdad, el habla? Uh, creería yo que lo más importante es, es memorizar más vocabulario, ¿verdad? Para que eso yo yo pueda tener mayor soltura, mayor rapidez. Trato eh, he estado entrando a, a en, en la aplicación donde está el, el eh, las tareas hay hay unas eh, unos links en donde hay unos un, este de YouTube. De hecho estuve viendo ayer si no me equivoco uno que hablaba acerca del de, De, de a la hora que tú vas a un restaurante y seleccionas uh, dentro del menú uh -huh. uh, opciones de, 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 de a la hora de, de, de que tú vas a, a, a comer, ¿verdad? Tú seleccionas y ahí vi cómo estaban in, interactuando. Sí me, me, me costó el, el, el hecho de, de, de que el oído tengo que tener un poco más agudo para poder entender qué es lo que dicen, ¿verdad? Porque esa, esa es la parte complicada, ¿verdad? El que el oído se agudice. Así como interactuamos en español, uh -huh. igualmente deberemos de, debemos de hacerlo en inglés para que eso a la hora de estar eh, entablando una conversación podamos hacerlo con más rapidez. Uh -huh. Esa parte la de agudizar el, 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 el oído. El oído. Porque ah, así... Des... ¿Sí? Continúe, continúe. Sí, entonces eh, también he, he hecho como método eh, ver películas en inglés y ver el subtítulo, ¿verdad? Así veo cómo lo pronuncia y qué es lo que están eh, diciendo, ¿verdad? Algunas palabras que no las entiendo, las la busco y, ah, ok, a esto se refería, ¿verdad? Eso me está ayudando también para poder eh, aprender un poquito más, pues, okay. más rápido. Uh -huh. Vaya, eso es bueno, estar viendo el, el subtítulo y, y, um, el, y escuchar la, la, la película de inglés. Sin embargo, tiene que tener mucho cuidado con eso, porque um, el cerebro lo que tiende a hacer es más que todo empezar a leer y no tanto escuchar. No sé si ha notado usted eso. Sí, yo me siento más cómodo cuando leo porque así entiendo qué es lo que usted me está diciendo. Pero Correcto. ya cuando usted lo habla, me cuesta más. Ajá, 
eh, y esa es la cosa de que lo que tenemos es que hacer que el oído deje su zona de confort mm. porque la zona de confort ahí se va a quedar y no va a avanzar entonces usted tiene que procurar que su oído deje esa zona de confort y precisamente lo que usted está diciendo eh, yo me siento bien leer dice porque así estoy entonces lo que está haciendo su cerebro es que está más que todo concentrado en leer y no en escuchar, que es la parte que más necesita. Okay. Y, le, y se lo digo de experiencia, porque a mí me pasa mucho que yo, yo estoy aprendiendo otro idioma, creo que ya les he comentado, y veo, sí. o sea, veo mucho, mucho eh, series y, todo, y, y películas en ese idioma, pero sinceramente... O sea, yo estoy más enfocado en leer que en escuchar. Entonces, um, yo lo que le sugiero mejor, ya como ya llegamos a una etapa, estamos en intermediate, ya no estamos beginners, estamos intermediate. Yeah. Entonces, ya, es, ya pasamos ese nivel en que ya, o sea, como que, ay, o sea, es que no sé muy poco. No, o sea, no, ya estamos a un nivel que ya no es que sabe un montón, pero ya se puede defender, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. okay. Entonces, yeah. ya estamos a un nivel donde queremos, eh, queremos ya como eh, lanzarnos un poquito más. ¿Qué tenemos que hacer? Tenemos entonces que eh, dejar, dejar tanto ese, eso, esa, eh, esos subtítulos. Lo que les sugiero es, de aquí en adelante, quite los subtítulos, póngalos en inglés y trate de escuchar. Si hay una palabra o una frase que usted no está muy seguro, lo retrocede y le pone el subtítulo para ver esa parte. Ok. ¿Ah? Pero okay. no que su cerebro esté acostumbrado a cabal, a solo, solo uh -huh. leer, ¿verdad? Sino que trate de... Primero, agudizar ese oído. Y si usted de verdad dice, ¿y qué dijeron? Y lo retrocede y aún así no lo entiende, entonces retroceda y póngalo con el subtítulo. Cuando ya lo haya entendido con el subtítulo, ah, pues lo vuelve a quitar. ¿verdad? De tal forma que obligue a su, a su cerebro a tener que escuchar y no depender tanto en estar leyendo. ¿Ok? De hecho, de hecho, cuando, cuando usted habla eh, a usted, le entiendo un poco más el inglés que cuando escucho una, una película y con la, eh, o veo una película, mejor dicho, y, y, y escucho, ¿verdad? Como, como lo, lo pronuncia. Ahí me pierdo. Pero cuando le escucho a usted, sí, sí mi oído está un poquito más, eh, más ubicado y, y se me hace más fácil. Pero ¿Sabe por qué? Usted, ¿Por qué? ¿Sabe por qué? Porque como ya tenemos tanto tiempo de estar juntos, usted, su, su, su oído ya se acostumbró a mi timbre de voz, mi acento. Entonces ya, uh -huh. ya usted está conmigo en una zona de confort. ¿Verdad? <risa> también, ¿verdad? también, sí, sí. Entonces, Deseable. pero estoy segurísima que al principio, en las primeras tres, cuatro días de clase, cuando se estuvo conmigo, ¿Verdad? Sí o no. Sí, sí me sentía totalmente perdido. Correcto. Pero entonces, entonces, ¿qué hizo usted? O sea, obligó a su cerebro a tener que salir de su zona de confort. Su cerebro estaba en una zona de confort. Y, lo, y vine yo y, le, y, y, y lo, lo, lo choqué, ¿verdad? Y usted, ¿y esto qué es, verdad? Entonces, y, y al principio quizá puede ser que hasta quiso tirar la toalla. ¿Sí o no? Sí, sí ¿verdad? Sí. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Y eso pasa. Pero, mire lo que me está diciendo ahora. Mm -hmm. sí. Entonces, eso le demuestra a usted que usted es capaz de poder mm -hmm. salir de su zona de confort y, y, y elevar su nivel. Es posible. Okay. 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 Entonces, okay. haga eso. Haga eso. Yo sé que es... es, es um, eh, es un poquito ater aterrador ¿verdad? cuando uno sale de esa, esa, esa zona de confort, pero a medida que usted va viendo, ah, bueno, sí, eso lo puedo manejar, ya no es tan aterrador. Uh -huh. okay. Se va perdiendo ese temor. Ese temor, eso, esa, esa parte en la, 
la que ese reto de superar el miedo, el temor a que te equivoques, a que no digas las cosas bien, a, a tantas cosas son las que eh, la vas a superar tal y como usted lo dice. Exacto, lo vas a superar, esa es la palabra. Pero, tiene, uh -huh. pero la única forma de superarlo es tirándose al agua, a nadar. No, no, a nadar. Uh -huh. Ok, uh -huh. okay teacher. Ok. Excelente. Vaya. Un gusto. Ah, y por cierto, eh, que lo que quería decirle una cosita más antes de que se me vaya, es uh -huh. usted me decía de que tenía como problemas así con el vocabulario. Eh, yo le sugiero que pueda hacer, um, tenga un cuaderno solo de vocabulario y váyase uh -huh. aprendiendo cinco o diez palabras diarias, pero repáselo. No solamente okay. que lo aprendo y, y ya lo sé y después me sigo con lo demás y, y se me olvidaron las, de, las que vi en la semana pasada. No, o sea, sí. vaya, si, si siente que 10 es mucho, entonces haga 5, pero que esas 5 realmente las aprenda y las pueda utilizar. Trate de utilizarlo, no solamente lo aprendo cuál es la palabra y no lo uh -huh. uso, porque si, si lo aprendo y no lo uso, entonces realmente no lo he aprendido. No sé, o sea, no sé cómo usarlo y, y entonces eso no es saber la palabra. Entonces... Okay. Apréndase unas cinco palabras diario y, y empieza a utilizarlo. Y acuérdese, en cada clase, así ah, tengo que usar esa palabra cuando, cuando esté ahí hablando con mis compañeros. Y, y métalas de alguna forma, métalas. Okay. Okay. <risa> Excelente. Okay. All right. Gracias, teacher. Ok, un gusto, Edgar. Cuídese mucho. Pase buenas noches. Gracias, igualmente. Cuídese. Buenas noches. Right. Buenas noches. Bye.